All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. Jeanette Byro here. So nice to connect with you all. I am really excited to talk about what I want to talk about today, which is essentially dream state being a gateway for spirit communication. Now, the reason why I'm excited to talk about this is because this is something that really came to the forefront for me while experiencing my concussion. And, you know, I had mentioned to some of you in my social media posts that I was gaining some really cool insights uh, from this experience. And this is one of them. Now, this does not mean that this is going to require all of you to go and get a concussion to gain benefits, but rather this was a way for me to experience and also understand the value of understanding brainwave states, what that means and how we can access that in our daily lives without having to bonk our head. So that's what I'm excited to talk to you guys all about today. So again, thank you as always for joining me on the show for your beautiful, kind comments, questions. Uh, we have the Q and a podcast coming up pretty soon. So I'm so excited to dive into all of those questions too. So oh, a lot of gratitude in my heart for everyone this morning. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about dreams, brain waves spirit communication, how it's all connected in really the whole reason why spirit often comes through with the idea that dreams are a great way to communicate is because when we are in that dream state, and I'm going to get to some of the science right away, but when we are in that, that dream state, we are so open. We're not limited by being very busy because of our daily lives. We're not limited because the brain is busy thinking about grocery lists for the most part. I know sometimes dreams can take a whirl and turn into a hodgepodge of all kinds of things, but on average, we're not going over grocery lists in our dream state. So dream state is just very open and spirit is wanting to come in and communicate with many of us through this dream state, especially throughout the fall, because remember, as always, we're going through this upward climb now of consciousness of change and growth and the spirit world wants to come in and reassure us that they are with us bring us insights and understandings um, comfort grace all of that you know new ideas all of those kinds of things and one of the best ways they really know to be able to come through is in dream state because we're not busy and think about it we have a lot going on in our lives right now we have a lot in this 3d world keeping us busy. So that's why dream state is really ideal. So it's really like an open door. So one of the first things we can do to increase that spirit communication at that time is before you go to bed, set in your mind, set an intent that you would like to communicate with spirit more in your dream state. You know, it's, it's essentially saying, Hey, yeah, I agree to this. I'm open to it. Bring it on. I always like to add that, you know, may this communication be of the highest good. So I'm not bringing in pesky energies at that time. Again, that's not something we need to worry about, but it's always great to set that intent. So that's, that's the very first thing you can do is set the intent that you would remember it. So in order to understand what is happening in dream state, and again, anytime I can add kind of a scientific 3D tangible understanding to the spiritual event going on. I find that really helps our left brain get on board with what's happening. It lets us see it as a, something that is a part of our reality and therefore we're more open to it. So let's talk about dream state has to do with brain waves. Okay. Now we all know that REM sleep is where a lot of REM meaning rapid eye movement is where a lot of dreaming happens, but the brain wave that we really want to get into is the theta brain wave theta brainwave state. And this is really interesting because in the beginning of the summer, when spirit had said, Jeanette, you're going on a journey this summer, you need to slow down a little bit and you need to get into theta brainwave state. I was like, okay, sure. Cool. Cool. I'll do that. And, you know, in meditation, my intent is to get into theta. Yes. My dreams were really active, but I was to learn more about the theta brainwave state. Now I'm guessing that maybe I didn't learn as much as I was supposed to, or maybe this was just that piece de resistance where, you know, the concussion would really hammer home the understanding of theta brainwave state. So we have alpha, 
So beta state, beta brainwave state, if I start there, is when we're awake, when we're conversing, me talking to you right now, you and your daily life is beta brainwave state. And then we have different states like alpha, delta, theta, and so on. So delta is really kind of um, that deep sleep. Theta, though, is the key one that we want to talk about here because theta is when you are just drifting off or just before waking up. Theta state is that very relaxed state of meditation that we can get into. So some people get into that really easily. I know it has taken me many years of meditating to be able to get into that state. But theta is that, you know, I used to always call it the twilight state, that just before falling asleep, just waking up. That is where we can remember most of what's going on. And that's why spirit is saying, get to know theta brainwave state so that you can make the most of the communications, meaning you will remember them consciously. Because here's the thing, we all dream at night to a certain degree, and we do within our beings, sometimes our subconscious, remember them. We remember the communications, but we don't always remember it consciously. And so it's about remembering it consciously, and the key to that is that theta brainwave state. So how can we get into theta brainwaves? Theta really, if, if you can't do it through meditation, there are different ways you can do it. Some of them are through uh, different things you ingest for different experiences. That's not what I'm talking about here. We're talking about a very clean way. And again, there's nothing against that. But we're talking about a very clean, clear, uh, safe for many people that are not wanting to adventure into different plant medicines and so on. It's a very... Um, safe way to get into that state of communication. And there are many free ways that you can do that through theta brainwave meditations or binaural beats or music. And you can find that on YouTube. Just type in theta brainwave meditation, theta brainwave music. And what happens is the frequencies of the music or the binaural beats will bring you into that brainwave pattern. So it might take you a few minutes of kind of, you know, deepening into that, but it'll bring you into that. The beautiful thing with sound is sound is one of the most easiest ways for us to change our frequency. Think about how you feel, you know, if you're really sad and you hear this really great upbeat piece of music and it just, you can't help but start to feel uplifted, right? Or how this really peppy piece of music can just amp you up that you're ready to take on a hike or a workout, right? You merge with the frequency of that music. And so the, these pieces of music that are theta specific help you merge with that frequency to access that brainwave. So it's really powerful. And the reason why I found this was after I hit my head, I had this really amazing chiropractor who introduced me to something called brain tap. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but you can Google, you can Google it. And brain tap is a system that uses light. And I will talk about light therapy on another podcast, but also sound, um, through this device that is a headset, but also an eyepiece. So the eyepiece, the, the light will pulse at certain speeds to match the binaural beats that you're listening to in your ears. So you're syncing those two and it helps create higher neural activity that are consistent with the desired brainwave. So you can select delta, theta, um, alpha, gamma. It's really neat. Or just simple relaxation. There's many different options in it. And it is such an awesome tool to pull you right into that state. And so what I found by doing this process, which is just you put the thing on and you listen to it and you lay down, I was getting into a meditative state really fast, like faster than normal. And I thought that was really interesting because I was like, wow, this is taking me into a very conscious experience very fast. And I thought I cannot wait to share this with people because so often people get stuck in their own minds because they're too busy thinking about all the things they have to do. And they're stuck in that beta state and they can't get out of it. Right. And so this is taking you into deeper states of consciousness but again, in a very clean and clear way. The other thing I found too in exploring this was I was accessing different dimensions and different levels of consciousness way faster, but also with way more clarity than I had before. 
And what's neat is as I'm doing that in conscious state and I'm healing my brain at the same time, my brain is then trying to increase the neural activity to match that state that I am experiencing with a lot of joy. Because when I'm in that theta state or even the delta state, but we'll stick with theta for the show today, I'm experiencing it in a state of joy, which makes my brain want to increase the neural pathways and the firing potential to uh, harmonize with that. So again, it doesn't mean you have to have a head injury to do this and get the benefit, but even being in that theta brainwave state in a place of joy and relaxation, but still consciously, you're teaching your brain how to be conscious in that state. You're creating the pathways to support conscious awareness in that state, which then gives you better access to spirit communication. Now, is that not so amazingly cool? Honestly, I think that's just the coolest thing, you know, and in this experience, if, if any of you are able to access a brain tap system, your chiropractor may have it. You can look online. I know the headsets are about $700 or so. So they're pretty, you know, it's an investment, but if you're really drawn to it, it's totally worth it. But again, that's why I'm also suggesting try out that brain state on YouTube, try it out for free first. See if that starts to help you access that because what happens is yes, you'll be able to access it during that meditation, but you will also have more conscious ability to remember what's happening in your dream state. So that natural state that we all go and move through in our dreams, depending on the day, we will have more conscious memory of it. And so it works on both sides. We're gaining access when we consciously decide to go into it in a meditation, but we're also reaping the benefits when we are going to sleep every single night. It's really cool. It's a great way to open up and expand. So all of that brings me to the point of, you know, why does this matter? Why is spirit communicating through? They are really wanting us to step up in a level of consciousness of embracing our multidimensionality. I talked about this on one of the shows throughout the summer, uh, the multifaceted nature of self. And what spirit is encouraging us in our level of consciousness now is to realize that dream state isn't just some fantasy-like state of whimsical thinking, that it actually can and can further become a very real place of communication and doing and learning and growing as well as what we're doing in our waking life. And so over time, when we start to really dive into the value of our dream state, we can be gaining insights, growing and learning while we're awake and while we're sleeping in equal value, we can gain the most and the, see the reality of it. And that is a really powerful thing. That's when we become even greater co-creators in this lifetime. Because when we realize that, yes, we are awake and embodied in this dimension, but also in other dimensions, and we can reach those other dimensions, depending on how we change our brainwave state, we really can tap into the many versions of self and the greater picture of what's going on for your whole soul self. Tapping into your higher self becomes easier. Releasing energies from your physical body that you no longer want becomes easier. Because remember, Think about all the magic that is available to you in that dream state, the magic that's available to you essentially in theta state, theta brain waves. So not only can you gain information from spirit in that state, but you can also, like I'm saying, heal your body, change your perspective, heal energetics from your past. It is a powerful state to understand and dreams is our easiest way to get into it. So that's why I'm really excited to share the value of exploring the theta wave state in the many different ways. There are some people that explore this state through, like I was saying, plant medicine, psilocybin. Uh, those are all other ways you can explore it. And if you do choose to explore it that way, I would really recommend doing so with someone who can guide you through it. Um, if you're going to explore that, it's so valuable having a grounding person to help you make the most of the experience so that you're not just kind of getting lost in the world of it. For some people, that's a huge value right there. But for others that are wanting to find that thing to really open their mind and open their consciousness, uh, having that guide is really valuable. 
But if that's not the calling for you, if you're like, I just don't want to mess with substances in any way, brainwave state here through sound is not messing with a substance. It's using sound. And spirit has been saying that we are stepping into a time of consciousness where we're going to value the healing ability of light and the healing ability of sound so much more. We're really, I mean, we're seeing more therapies and stuff coming out about this, but we are really stepping up our game. And so this is one, one that we can all do one that we can all access right now. And it's on YouTube and it's in our dream state and it's waiting for us to understand it more. And it has to do with brainwaves. It's fantastic. So I definitely encourage you guys to check that out this week. If you have some time, um, you may, you may find that all that happens to you in that state is you just feel relaxed. And if that's what you get, that's perfect. That's where you want to start because in order to access spirit, access higher realms, any of that, we have to do so from a place of being relaxed. We have to undo the layers of our busyness. So I really want to encourage you, if you find nothing else, but you feel relaxed, you have taken a step in the right direction. That is absolutely what you need to do first and foremost. So definitely want to encourage you guys with that. So let's explore. Let's explore how this goes. Let me know how it works for you in the comments here. Feel free or reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, Jeanette Biro Medium, and let me know how it's going for you because I am excited to see how we can bring more understandings into our reality to expand our consciousness in a very simple yet tangible way. This is the energy of the future, the energy of further awakening that we have been Spirit has been telling us we would gain more insights and understandings to further our progress this fall. And this is one of the pieces. So I'm so excited to share with you guys. I hope that inspires you this week to dive in. And uh, yeah, that's everything I got for today. So I hope you guys have a beautiful week and uh, I will see you guys next week.